if you want to try and remember it that way. Hello, Small Town Pride. We are here again with the one, the only, Nomaly Brennett. Nomaly, how are you? Uh, I'm doing great. How are you doing? I am doing so fantastic. Happy Pride to you. Yes, and happy Pride to you from rural Iowa. Ah, oh, Iowa, Idaho, bold rural. Excellent. Yeah, so, oh, I know. People think that this the same honestly, thing. Honestly, us in Ohio. Right. <laughs> So tell me, yes, what exactly. is it? What is it like living in rural Iowa? Well, it's there's great things about it, and there's things that are difficult too. Mm -hmm. um, like this is actually a pretty progressive community, and uh, there's a lot of supportive allies here and other uh, LGBT and queer people living here. Um, but there's also some kind of vocal opposition. Uh, for example. Mm -hmm. We had a problem with uh, pride flags being vandalized uh, a couple of years ago. Yep. And uh, so we actually started our own pride because of that. Yeah, we've had similar issues here in Boise. What, yeah. what, uh, what's the town you're in in Iowa? Uh, I'm in Decorah. It's a town of about 8,000 people. Excellent. So what are some of your favorite, yeah. uh, favorite things about living in Decorah? Uh, well, I'm super close to nature. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really quiet, and it's the kind of place where you <laughs> not only don't have to lock your car, but you probably could leave the keys in it, <laughs> too. Leave um, it running. Yeah, it's very low-key <laughs> and quiet. So. Oh, good, good. So we are going yeah. to uh, show your video for We Belong. So tell us a little bit about mm -hmm. the making of We Belong. Okay, well, um, that was something I wrote a while back. Um, I came up with an album in 2002 that was called Boy in a Dress. And that was sort of my coming out album as a trans person. And uh, so I basically had only these 12 songs, <laughs> you know, that I could play. And uh, I started getting invited to play at Pride Festivals. And after doing a few of them, I kind of felt like, oh, I, I really wish I had something you know, that I could get up on stage and play and it would be like kind of a positive anthem. Um, and so that's kind of what it was born out of and uh, started off being just kind of an LGBT thing. But mm -hmm. I also realized like there are so many like freaks and geeks and weirdos that um, I have become friends with and who are also on the margins. Mm -hmm. uh, so I kind of like to just bring everyone into the fold in that way. Yeah, and that really comes through in your music. So what was that sort of what got you started in music, like built your interest in music, was sort of building those sorts of connections? Or what, what really uh, developed your interest? Well, I, I was one of those kids, you know, like at six years old, they were like, OK, this one's going to be a musician. You know, mm -hmm. just everything I picked up, I would play. and. Uh, so I had been I had been doing music, but I kind of reached a point where I kind of felt like I was stuck, and I also felt like I was stuck as a person. And uh, so this was before I transitioned, and uh, so the two things kind of went side by side, just this like a creative and a personal awakening. And that was kind of the point where I felt like okay, now I can start writing songs that feel like. Uh, they're authentically me that I feel connected to. And, you know, it's the process of like literally finding your own voice, uh, which a lot of people wow. go through in different forms, I think. That's, that's a really powerful uh, comparison there. So uh, in mm -hmm. your music, uh, what instruments do you play? Well, it depends, like, if you want to know how well I play them, <laughs> I play like, I play guitar and piano pretty well, mm -hmm. and I could probably fake my way through about 10 other instruments <laughs> given the time. Um, yeah, I play just enough to kind of like make up a part for a song on a lot of things. Perfect. So. Multi-talented. So what, talk about some of your musical yeah. influences. Like what sort of steered your style as an artist? Well, of course, I grew up in the late 80s. so. <laughs> There's just that whole, mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have time to get into it, right? It's that the 80s was, the 80s was actually pretty cool, fun, expressive time for music. Mm -hmm. 
it was really colorful. Um, and uh, yeah, I went to music school. I studied classical music. Uh, I played jazz piano for a long time. Nice. Um, but I always really felt like kind of called to be a songwriter. Mm -hmm. And uh, so yeah, I listened to ugh, I can't, can't even tell you like how much, how many different kinds of music. Um, yeah, it's basically right. I'm influenced by anything that like catches my ear and moves me. Mm -hmm. So I, d I don't really feel like it's restricted to a genre gotcha. yeah. or something. Each genre has its um, own sorts of merits like that. What's one of your favorite songs right now? And sort of what is what is the inspiration that it's bringing you? Well, it's funny because that's often a really hard question for me to answer because mm -hmm. it sort of depends on the week. But I've been listening a lot to this artist uh, named Bonnie Bear, who mm -hmm. uh, is from Wisconsin. And he has this song out, uh, which is called Faith. And it's not like a Christian song <laughs> or anything, but um, it just, it came up on my uh, on my phone yesterday when I was driving. And I was like, oh, I so need to hear this song right now. It's just kind of about being strong uh, through a difficult time. Uh, and there's a line in the song where he says something about, uh, it's, it's time to be brave again. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think about the times in my life when I was called on to be brave, you know, just in transitioning and getting up on stage. And um, sometimes you got to summon that courage and, you know, move through some more stuff. Absolutely. So you performed, you said, at a bunch of different pride festivals over the years and, mm. and throughout your transition as well. What's the, your experience been uh, performing on stage at small town prides uh, that you've been able to attend? Uh, I, I love it. It's, uh, they've been some of my favorites. Um, I think because a lot of times, uh, you know, with the bigger pride festivals, they've got corporate sponsorship and it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's become, you know, kind of like a really big party. Whereas in smaller towns, it's often like a really meaningful gathering. Like, like yeah, when we absolutely. go to our pride here in Decorah, like you look around, you're like, Oh my gosh, look at all these people that are not only like me, but that are my neighbors and that come out to support. And like, we need that, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't have an understanding of what it is to walk through the world and, and be marginalized. Mm -hmm. And I'm definitely not saying that I cornered the market on that by any means, but, um, it just it just means so much to to know that you are welcomed, you know, because Absolutely. a lot of us can't assume that we are welcomed everywhere all the time. Yeah, yeah. So having that visible presence, uh, like a pride festival mm -hmm. in these small towns, is really a, a a powerful moment to stand together and and know that we are here and we are here for each other. Uh -huh. That's sort of what I'm. What yeah, I'm absolutely. And it's a it's a really it's a much needed pushback too. Uh, to people in the community who might think that they're going to kind of steamroll mm -hmm. over, you know, LGBT rights and other people's uh, freedom to exist, right. and uh, to mm -hmm. kind of let them know, actually, there's uh, there's a lot of people who disagree with you. Right. <laughs> so, awesome. Well, so uh, back to your music. What are you working on currently? Uh, I am actually just finishing up a new record, and uh, I. Was, I was actually supposed to be in Germany right now on tour oh. and uh, was going to finish up the record when I got back. But I've had a little bit extra time, so I'm just uh, finishing up mixing it and going to release it this summer. Excellent. And uh, yeah, so that's my, my next big thing. Ooh, I cannot wait to hear it. So how can the folks watching at home right now follow you, listen to your new album when it comes out? Well, um, <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it's going to be on all the streaming stuff, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and my website is nominallybrennett.com. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm on pretty much everything that's out there. I mean, iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, Amazon Music, whatever it is, mm -hmm. I'm on it. <laughs> um, Excellent. Yeah, I have a Patreon account. I'm on Instagram. Even this this old uh, thing called Facebook. I don't know if people have heard of that. <laughs> I've 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 heard it mentioned before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, awesome. 
well, the vintage social media app. <laughs> Nomaly, thank you so much for joining us here today. Happy Pride to you. Oh, so excited to see your video for We Belong. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thanks for having me.